Hey everybody, Rick here. Today we're going to be doing disassembly and maintenance on this little interesting little knife right here. This is the uh, uh, t -t 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 the Kaiser Kaiser Maestro Maestro. That's it. First off, I want to thank the people at Kaiser for making this interesting little knife here. And yeah, so let's get into it. So what I'm trying to accomplish here, my hopes, my dreams, my fondest desires are to disassemble this and hopefully get the action better. First to start off here, we look pretty well centered there. And this happens to be a T, oh, yep, T8. Excellent, excellent. Boom. Oh, we got things falling apart, people people hashtag not a brilliant man <clears throat> oh speaking of that do not do not get into watches people do not all right back at the ranch so i'm just uh disassembling these two uh body screws back here let's set these up here and if you're ever interested in any of the uh, disassembly tools I'm using here, go check out uh, <clears throat> Rick Razmataz, hashtag disassembly tools, and you will see everything that we have going on. All right, now sometimes I have to get my plastic spudger tool involved here, but this guy just, just took itself apart for us right here. So sometimes... <laughs> Uh, you know, it just works out that way. So, let's uh, <clears throat> get some stuff here involved. We got our uh, cleaning swatches right here. And uh, we'll get the old isopropyl alcohol or booze. And let's give this guy a good cleaning here. Get those bearings off of there. <clears throat> so, as you can see there, pretty standard. Just riding on bearings. And... Uh, We'll get this, uh, oh, spilled booze on my mat. Let's get this all cleaned up here. <clears throat> Excellent. I'm dropping parts all over the place. People, not a brilliant man. But that's what you get uh, when you're dealing with the jackass on YouTube. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to pop that pivot right out there, and we'll get this other bearing cleaned up, get a little more booze on here. Excellent, excellent. I'm just cleaning up all these parts here just so when this goes back together it's going to be in tip top shape because <clears throat> my wants, my needs, my dreams, my fondest desires are to have this knife working in its best possible people boy hashtag not a brilliant man struggling today this happens to be what I'm wearing here is the uh, this is the Breitling aerospace oceanic s9000 27 niner but people do not get into watches so what we can see here, let me get the my little cleaning cloth straightened out. There's actually a little groove right there that the bearings are riding in. Uh, that's not something you normally see on Kaiser knives. There are a few other brands out there that do that, but that's something new for Kaiser. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So it's a sign of, of good quality and an extra little touch that I'm glad that they did. So, just cleaning up the rest of this. Oh, we better pop out that other washer there. Get that cleaned up. All right, I 
think we're about ready to start reassembling. So as you can see here, we got all the pieces out. Oh, got a little bit right there. I'm out of, uh, well, not out of. I just didn't bring any Q-tips over here. Hashtag not a brilliant man. All right. So we still have our pivot collar on on this side. So I'm going to pop the pivot right back in there. And then I need to stick the lanyard pin back in. We'll drop a washer and a bearing down on there. <clears throat> what we're using here is a little KPL. We're going to lubricate the pivot. And I'm just using the applicator there to distribute that oil around the pivot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's way too much. People. Not a brilliant man. We got the Exxon Razzmatazz going on here. But that's okay. That's okay. Because, you know, we want to make sure things are properly lubricated. So now, I'm going to stick the other washer on or bearing just use that there to distribute that lubrication around we'll throw that uh, bearing raced on and then I'm going to use a little bit of KPL heavy right there in the detent ball track and put a little on the detent ball path Now, at this point, my hopes, my dreams, my fondest desires are that I'll be able to put this scale down on there and just have this snap right back together, right in place. Let's see what we're working with here. Get that pivot screw back in there. Like I said, all the hardware on this is T8, which is nice to see. You don't see that with every manufacturer, but I like that. I appreciate that. You know, quality is about giving a damn, not about geography. So, we've almost got it here. We're about to win this battle. All right, let's see what we're what we've got. Action scene. Oh, pivot's way too loose. Way too loose. Let's get that tightened up. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are centered. Action is good oh yeah so there's your disassembly and maintenance on the uh, Kaiser Maestro so I hope you all found that interesting and have a wonderful rest of your day bye now